Hello, everybody. We're back. It's another Monday, so more Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. I have done a little bit of work offline, uh, but we'll get to that in a second. Let me go ahead and bring the game up. There's that. Uh, and I would like to give a big shout out to Anne Dorco for the follow that she gave me. She is an awesome streamer. If you want to go check her out, I would greatly recommend it. Uh, so yes, as to the offline work that I did. Um, we have... Two new friends, potentially. When we can get around to taming them. I also made myself slime boots and a slime sling. Um, just to get around easier. But yes, two new friends. Uh, as I was out wandering looking for clay and stuff, the brown hippogriff was the one that we kept passing in the ocean. So I decided to bring him back here. And in the process of moving him back here, he actually killed me three times, I think. So that was fun. The gray I found when I was out, again, looking for clay and such. And he was actually in a ravine. So it was quite the process of bringing him out of the ravine and then bringing him home. And I think I died another, like, four times doing that. They are not tamed yet. I'm still collecting rabbit's feet so that we can do that. And that's why I've got the ground trap set up over here. So hopefully we'll be able to get some more rabbit's feet out of those. And then I was going to make a saddle. Because that is something that we will need if we plan on traveling. Using the hippogriffs. And I think dragons need saddles, but I'm not 100% sure. And then I was going to make a couple of sets of hippogriff armor, which is just normal horse armor. And then two feathers. So yeah, we'll have that going. There is a zombie outside of my house that is com coming to say hi. There is also a slime outside of my house. Close the door. And I am sad to say that while I was doing offline stuff, uh, we did end up losing one of the chameleons. So I might take some watermelon with me and pick up another one because we only have three right now. These two and then this little guy over here. A skeleton ended up getting into my house. <laughs> Something that I am very disappointed about because <laughs> I hadn't even gotten to name them yet. I don't know if it would be more difficult. Oh, that's a diamond shulker box. Nice. I also have an iron shulk shulk shulker box. Figure out this whole talking thing eventually. Um. But yeah, while we're waiting for more rabbit's feet to... That was what the chameleon dropped. It dropped a camouflage die. So I put it in an item frame in remembrance. And I might name it when we get an anvil. As sad as that will be. Okay. Um, quests. Where are we on quest lines? We still need to find a Kirby. Uh, Menril 
trees we need to get. I should have one grown outside. This needs more redstone and coal, which I might have. How many coal blocks can I currently make? It's four per and I need five, so a total of No, get over here. I am one block of coal short. Sorry if you can hear the police sirens and stuff through the mic. Actually, I think that that was a fire truck and an ambulance, but not 100% sure. So down into the mines we go to get more coal. And there's a flame spitting squid again. So yes, hopefully we will be able to get the Um, what is making noise over here? I have no idea. Ah, that's a skeleton. That's not what I want. Uh, but what was I saying? Um... Hopefully we'll be able to get the hippogriffs tamed today. That's meteorite block. And another thing that I was doing was... Uh, as I was going to collect clay and all that stuff, was I was looking for... Ah! Creeper! And there's a witch somewhere around here. Um, I was looking for a another dragon nest. Preferably an ice dragon, because we haven't run into one of those yet. Do I have any torches on me? No, I don't. I'm going into this situation well prepared. There's coal. And it might be just the right amount. Yay, it is! And one extra. Silly fire squids. Okay, so now that we have that coal, we can head back up and hopefully finish up the dank knoll. That will be another ah hole. Uh, that will be another quest off the list. Running up the stairs, running up the stairs. I need to continue the stairs up all the way uh, on this hill. Need more rabbit's feet. In personal experience from other worlds, it usually takes anywhere between one to five um, rabbit's feet. Those don't go in there. Uh, one to five rabbit's feet to tame a hippogriff. And of course that number can vary greatly. Depending on, you know, game RNG and all that stuff.
don't need that crafting table, need this crafting table. So I think that that will be the last block of coal that we need. My other goal for today, besides getting the hippogriffs tamed, is to start digging out a basement below this and hopefully getting a smeltery set up. Because that would make things a lot easier in the long run. So that's red glass, which is glass around red dye. I have glass here, probably not enough glass. There's red dye and redstone. Wrong thing there. Get a couple of red dyes. There's red glass. Didn't need to make quite that much red glass, but that's fine. Who knows, maybe a build I'll decide to do later will need a bunch of red glass. Doing a build actually requires that I be decent at building though, which I'm not. There we go, another quest completed. Put everything back so that I can find it later. And what's next on the list? I think I'd rather go with the coal, personally. Um, Menril trees. That's right. Ah. There we go. Don't need the smelting. Efficiency would be nice, though. Need to make more bait for the traps. And while I'm out here, go ahead and drop some food to the animals. Probably make another trough. Hello, Yaderzeit. And pardon me again for my horrible German. How are you doing today? saplings did I get out of that? Go ahead and plant another one. That way I still have more without having to go off wandering and searching for them. For a second there I thought that that flower was a sheep that had escaped. weather is no fun, but I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. Is 
So there's the sapling. Would help if I completed the quest. And then on to a battery. Which is silicon, mineral chunks, electro silicon. Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I'm a bit of a stickler for organization in Minecraft. It's why I sometimes have problems watching other people play through things, because there's, especially towards the beginning, there's just no organization in anything. And it tends to uh, bother me just a little bit. was I looking for as well? I was looking, do I have, I have no silicon in either of these, so I have to make more of that. And electrosilicon is electrotene silicone, which is electrotene around silicone. Do I have any? It can be kind of an easy thing to stress over to a certain extent, um, especially in mod packs like this where there's so much stuff that you're trying to work through at once. And I guess I don't have any of it currently. Where does one find this? Can make it with sawdust, redstone, and pulverized copper. Could do that pretty easily. Copper ingot in hmm. all right, before I get too far into something else. Yeah, it's always pretty cool checking out other people's builds. I'm honestly a terrible builder myself, so I tend to, um, you know, look up different things and sort of try to figure out how they're built from looking at models and stuff. And it's, uh, it's always an interesting thing. Okay, so make some more fruit bait real quick so we can get some more uh, rabbit's feet, hopefully. Need more string, which is wool and the wool gin. We can go get that set back up real quick. And we're getting some eggs along with it, so that'll be good. Might be able to get some chickens. So that's the men reel that I needed. I don't think that I have a chest location for integrated dynamic stuff yet. And I just have a bunch of random stuff in here still. You're going to come with me. And maybe some of you will go in there. One of you will go in there. For now, other integrated dynamic stuff will go in there, though. And 
Pam's Harvest Craft stuff, you can go in there. What else do I have? Exchanger. What is that actually used for? It's used in the Elite Crafting Table. You will go in there for now. And that. And that's always how the trouble starts. You kind of throw things into a chest. Uh... Nice. Uh... Hi, Muddy. Feather. So let's see. Ah, forgot about the slime boots. And there is a slime in with my hippogriffs. No. Sorting inventory, huh? Uh, let's see if we can get one of these guys tamed at least. Ow. Maybe. We got the gray tamed. One more rabbit's foot. I did not know that. Okay, an auto sort into chests. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. Nope. Away from the gate. Away from the gate. So, now that we have two hippogriffs, uh, if anyone has any naming suggestions, you know, feel free to put them in the chat. And the slime balls go in here. Most of the stuff that I have in my inventory currently is stuff that I uh, just sort of generally keep in there, especially now that I've got the slime sling. And the backpack is currently empty. But we do need to go on a mining expedition or an exploration um, I completely lost where I was going with that sentence. There is stuff that we need to find. Need more string for that, which I just used up. Whoa. We have shears. Shears. Need to throw more food into the sheep pen. And at some point, I probably should build them a better stable type area. That way, they're not as much at risk from mobs. It would be just a little annoying to have the sheep die. Uh, and what else did I need for that bow? 
two copper ingots, and a stick. Yeah, I think that I've got a couple of different tool chests currently. This is sort of an all-purpose thing with the coins. Um, but for the most part, this is like the things that... The mortar, the artisan stuff. And then I've got one over here that's got, you know, axes, mining hammers. Um, stuff that I take out with me when exploring. Speaking of which, I can put... Nope, oh, you go in armor down here. Oh, did not mean to do that. Wrong keybind. So, I need to make 12 arrows... For which I need feathers, which I have some, and flint, which is gravel and a sifter. I will hatch those eggs at some point, just uh, need to actually make a pen for them. Do I have a sifter? I do have a sifter. And I should have a fair bit of gravel as well. Uh, we'll need to make more sticks. Because I am forever running out of those. feathers. That works. Uh, poisonous mushrooms. Need three of them. They can be very spooky, yes. Uh, because not only do they do ranged attacks, but they also do um, the melee attacks. Okay, back down into the mines. And this time I will remember to bring torches. the shears behind, leave that behind, and you behind. There we go. And actually, if I am going out wandering, I'm going to take my good bow. It does definitely make mining a lot more interesting. Oh, more rabbit's feet have popped up. Okay, back down to the mines. Probably don't need the slime sling in my active inventory. Come 
back here. No, oh, that's not what I wanted. Keep irons will be the death of me. But that's what happens when you're switching around between... I think I'm working three different mod packs right now. Only one of which I'm streaming. The other two are just sort of... I'm messing around with them because they looked interesting. I've sort of been dabbling around with RL Craft. And that has just been a mess. <laughs> Stuck in a spider's web. I'm really hoping at some point to, um, nope, did not want to break that torch. One of my goals for this series is to get a dragon of both um, the fire and ice types. So far we found fire dragons, but they've only been the tier 3 that you can find in the overworld. Or on the surface of the overworld, rather. Have not had... We found one dead um, ice dragon. But no living ones yet. There's a creeper over there. I think he's stuck in a was stuck in a spider's web until I shot him. It is difficult. flowers you are your levitation flowers okay I don't really want to be levitating but I will take you guys might be able to make something useful out of you what was I actually down here looking for Mushrooms. Ow. Go away. I'm gonna die to a book. <laughs> Ow. didn't bring any food down with me. That was a wonderful decision. There's a chicken. Yep. And mushrooms right there. you doing? Let me see if I can set this up real quick. Uh, add an element. Do, 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 do. Video capture. Add source. So this is just going to be a temporary thing, and I'll be moving the microphone with me, so I apologize for that. But if you hear me talking to somebody in the background, I have a bearded dragon, and her name is Nisa. And 
that is what she looks like. She's a little unhappy with me right now. Now to try and get everything back up where it is supposed to be. There is that. And there is that. And go ahead and remove that. Yes. So yeah, if you hear me talking to a Misa in the background, that is her. She tends to get herself into a lot of trouble. I also have, well, between the two of us living here, we have five cats. I will not be showing them on stream, however, because they are not allowed in my office. I don't want to be cleaning cat fur out of my computer every few hours. I thought that was the kind of mushroom that I needed, but apparently not. Skeletons. It's an interesting ravine. Definitely want more torches before going in there, though. Ow. Cats are really cool. And as much as I might complain about the ones that we have sometimes, Especially Max, who enjoys getting under my feet. Ow! Constantly. Um, I do love them all. Probably at some point consider upgrading my armor as well because this chest plate is about to break. Actually, yeah, do the throwing torches do? Apparently they aggro a bunch of things. Yep, shoot the spider. I might try going elsewhere to look for mushrooms. As something is trying to shoot me in the back as I'm walking away. I actually have a fair bit of gold currently sitting in the unprocessed ores chest. Um, and then I've also gone through and raided I think it's four fire dragon nests now. So I've managed to pick up a lot of gold nuggets from that. But that definitely won't be the last time that we're going down into the mines there. 
my uh, my brain just tends to not like sticking on one thing for too long. Hello there, shaking mango. I doing with graves dust? How are you doing today? And thank you for stopping by the stream. Okay, so take the torches. Make a few more while we're back here. Because you can never have enough torches. And let's go ahead for a bit of a flight. Stupid brain eating slimes. I will at some point build a better pen for these guys as well. This was just sort of a temporary holding area. saying that we were going to come over here and check out this all right hope that everything goes well muddy i'm not sure where that torch just went off to now the big question is Uh, hippogriffs, not quite griffins, but close. Uh, this is one of the mods that's added in the Ice and Fire pack. Uh, you have the hippogriffs, sea serpents, sirens, uh, the dragons, of course. And I do not remember- oh, did not mean to do that. We'll be back up in a second. <laughs> It is going to be one of those days, I apologize. <laughs> Set to F. Is that the same keybind? That is the same keybind, okay. We've got it figured out now. I have heard that it is still getting some updates. just almost bounced off the island thanks to slime boots. So I don't currently have anything that can tackle obsidian. So I'm not sure how much of interest we'll actually be able to uh, Doing all right, Muddy. Hopefully, you're doing well. Yeah, we'll probably have to come back here after we have gotten something that can handle obsidian. I have never actually played Terraria. And I don't think I've seen any uh, Terraria gameplay either. Uh, 
And we will hopefully at some point be spending time in this jungle area over here. Because one of the other mobs that you can get as part of the ice and fire pack are the amphitheaters. Which are fun. There's a carriage in the sky. Oh, land. Thank you. Ah. Yes, a uh, new level of transport that I think between the two of them I moved back. There were maybe eight deaths associated with the whole process. There is a spawner somewhere in here. You can see that there it is. Goodbye. got one of the mushrooms that I needed. So that's nice. But having the hippogriff definitely makes exploring um, large areas a lot easier. And you're not quite as likely to get attacked by mobs unless there are the sort that flies. That is a troll. A troll or an ogre. That is throwing stuff at me. But with this... It is much easier to cross oceans without worrying about dying to sea serpents. So we'll open up a lot more uh, realms of exploration. This is a desert, so I wonder if there might be a Miramax den somewhere around here. Ah, uh, yep. So these guys drop some useful things for armor. At least the uh, larger ones do. And you can actually kind of become friends with a hive by feeding them these resin chunks. But the hives themselves are kind of designed like ant colonies. You have your main queen, and then you have your workers, drones, um, warriors, that sort of thing. Stop dodging my arrows! that that was going to happen eventually. Oh, waypoints. Yeah, these are some of the death waypoints from um, 
trying to move with hippogriffs. That was the one from the caves earlier, I think. Uh, I think that this is the right yeah, this is the right one. Don't you dare go after my hippogriff. No!